uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, joiner transformation this is almost similar to the union transformation but the actual behavior of this transformation purely based on the joint condition that is it can be a normal joint uh, or a left outer joint and right outer joint or a full outer joint okay so when i say that like uh, there will be a master table uh, like EMP is the table which is holding employees information and DEP to the table uh, which is holding the de department information with the joining condition between these two tables is DEPT number okay so with that we are going to uh, join the information matching rows uh, 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 employees and its corresponding department name and location we are going to bring in for example the first normal join we are going to look into today uh, session okay so when I go back to and see the union transformation, basically it's like a union all uh, in the set operators what we normally used to do it in our day to day routine in a select statement. So it's like a combining of the data. It's not like the same um, <clears throat> journal transformation. So that is the main difference you need to understand. So for today's session, so what I'm going to use as a source is like EMP is the detail table and DEPT is the master table okay and the joiner transformation uh, with the normal join i'm going to do it it's same like an inner join just uh, just before i mentioned and the target table uh, to uh, load the data um they are going to use t underscore emp underscore dept okay let us jump into creating a session now or sorry mapping now from informatica cloud so just a second we'll go to sql developer first uh, here uh, as I told before, it's like a purely inner join. EMP is the detail table, and uh, I'm going to give a simple inner join with a detail table called department number. So on condition DEPT number is equal to D dot DEPT number. So I'm going to bring the detail table records from employee table and department d name and d dot location so these are the column i'm going to bring in so now you will see the results are results 14 14 rows okay so you can see that so 14 records you'll see that here see here so now so this is what the same thing you are going to achieve through the joiner transformation okay this is equivalent to normal join okay so now let us try to create a target table using the same command one is equal to two so i'm going to create a target table for our loading purpose create table t underscore emp underscore dept as okay okay that table got created now let us verify that yes the table got created now it is empty let's jump into create a mapping now okay okay so now the source First source we can take it as DEPT table, the detail one from the Oracle source. You can double check with the data, four records you can see. Okay, and the next, next source the detail source where we can take it from the master table that is EMP okay so now this is also done if you want to give some nice names so I'm going to give the name as source underscore EMP underscore detail okay so and similarly I'm going to give source underscore score D uh, 
let me double check that I'm doing the correct thing. Oh, sir, I'm giving a vice versa name. So let me change it before I okay. Oops. I cannot give the same name. I'm giving okay. I'll rename that one. Okay, so now I'll bring the journey transformation here. So let us try to expand the plus symbol here and the master will go to master side and detail will go to detail side okay now let's go on create a joining condition but before to that we have to resolve the conflicts here because the naming thing so we'll give mst underscore detail department number from the employee table now the joining is joiner uh, is done now let's link it to the target and the target table as you already know the table which we have created uh, that is t underscore emp underscore dept okay so so this is the table and i'm make, ensuring truncate target is enabled for multiple loads if you are doing so so and that's it uh, we are good and a field mapping the final part you can do automate field mapping or you can do smart mapping okay so we are almost done so everything is the mapping also done now so all employee information coming from the detail table and the d name and location coming from the master table that is nothing from the dept table now save the mapping and okay so let's try to give the mapping name meaningful EMPT EPT joiner TGT load okay okay I'm saving the mapping here okay let's try to run this one We should see 14 records loaded successfully with master records information plus DEPT. Sorry, master record <coughs> information plus employee detail information put together 14 records. Yes, it's got loaded. Let's go back to the SQL developer again and double check the same. Yeah, the 14 records have been loaded you can double check that that's it friend thank you for watching my video please subscribe my channel